Hey all, it's Aurelius, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I've got seven free AI tools that you can start using today. And that's right, they are all free, except one which actually has some sort of payment plan going on, but let's start with the first one. This first one is called Mojo. And Mojo has got this tool called AI Reveal, which what you see right here is a logo being revealed with these animations going on. These are three different variations I uploaded my logo as you can see and it's got this nice effect it's nice transition going on of revealing it's what it's called the actual logo so all you really need to do is upload your logo and let the ai do the rest and literally all you do is upload the image drag and drop it right here and then it will do the rest for you as you can see by these examples and then what you do is you download one of your favorites or perhaps download all of them and upload them to your socials it could be an instagram story so this could be a nice backdrop and then you put some text over it or you could just upload it as an instagram reel with some text over it you know use your creativity with that but ai has done the job of making this animated and showing your logo in this nice professional fashion the next ai tool is mind-blowing if you haven't heard yet luma released its AI model called Dream Machine. Essentially, it's text to video or you can upload an existing image and then AI will then turn it into a video clip like some of these examples. I would say Dream Machine is the next best thing after OpenAI's Sora. However, Sora has not been released to the public yet. So that makes Luma's Dream Machine the best right now in terms of text to video or image to video. Check out some of these examples generated by Luma and you'll see the prompt here, grazing cows move slowly across an idyllic meadow and you'll see here pretty realistic here with all the uh, effects and the shadows and multiple cows there in the background and this was purely generated based on a text prompt here's another example here where i uploaded a static image of mine and prompted it to simply wave hello and this is what the ai generated however you'll notice that i've got six fingers which is kind of part of generative ai they don't really generate fingers and hands that well but it's done a pretty good job in terms of taking you know looking at uh, my face here it's kept it somewhat consistent and the swapping of the watch and the, you can see it's on the other hand as well didn't do that too well but overall not too bad here's another example of the earth and i uploaded a static image and just made the ai you know make the earth rotate and this is what it's done it didn't really produce the clouds the consistency there uh, over to the right as it's turning but you know you can see that it's done the rotation uh, based on this static image. One last example, we've got low angle shot of a majestic tiger prowling through a snowy landscape. Really good, check how detailed that, that is. To start using Luma's Dream Machine, all you need to do is head to Luma's Dream Machine, click on try now. Bear in mind though, on the free plan, you do only get 30 generations per month, which is still pretty good, especially since this is all experimental. Once you've clicked submit, it should take a little bit of time to generate that video for you, but have a little patience. And then once it's ready, you'll see it under your creations. So go ahead, play around with Luma's Dream Machine. Next up, we've got an AI tool called GenType, and this actually comes from labs.google. So this is a Google experiment. However, it works really, really well based on my usage and experience here. So essentially what you can do is you can make up alphabets based on any material or item or object. In this case, I've prompted the AI to make alphabets uh, made out of Apple AirPods with blue sky background. And once I hit generate, you'll see what it's done. It's made all the letters from A to Z. Looking at it in detail, you can see what it's done. It uses a partial of the AirPod or all of them, but it's pretty cool and uh, creative what it has done. Here's another example I made based on ethernet cables with a bokeh background of a server room. So you can see here, it actually took that prompt really well. It's blurred out or bokeh, right? The background of the server room and focused in on the actual alphabets made out of ethernet cables. Furthermore, what you can do is click on any of the alphabets. Let's say you don't like how this S was generated. So clicking that once, you can click on regenerate and then that will regenerate another version. You can also download the alphabets as images, but go ahead, have a little fun with Google's Gentype. Moving on, we've got another Google product, but this one is called Music Effects. I've been 
been playing around with this for a couple of days now and it's really fun to use because you can be your own DJ. You don't need to know how to use these audio DJ tools and software. All you need to do is enter in a text prompt. So in this case, I've put in ambient soft sounding music I can work to, clicked on generate and this right here is what it's generated. It generates two versions. So the first version here, I'll play a little bit. And here's the second version right here. And what's also great is you can refine your text prompt further and then it will regenerate. And because this is all text prompt based, you can add instruments that you want. Let's say snare, you know, drums or anything. It could be an emotion too. It could be, you know, inspiring could be motivational, sad, dark, whatever you want to add. And then it will try to incorporate that and generate the music for you. Take a look at the top and you'll see this slider called DJ mode. This is similar to the previous option, except instead of text prompts, you can add different instruments, different genres. Maybe you want to mix, could be different emotions too. You can add up to 10 different types by adding the prompt here. You can also remove and delete some. And then you've got this slider here to show the dominance. You know, if you want more of a genre of future garage, as opposed to let's say R&B, whatever you're mixing, then you can do that by using the sliders right here. But take a look at this, I'll just play this uh, of what I've created based on one of my favorite genres, Future Garage and Chill Step. I'll play it. What you can also do is mix, as I said, something like, uh, let's put in rock, <laughs> something completely different in contrast, all right? I'll click on plus, and now I'll just increase it so it's more of a highlight, more of a dominance, right? As opposed to some of these other genres. So once that's done, it will, all right, I'll just play it now. It will generate. And there we go. You got more of the rock as opposed to the future garage and chill step. So as you can see, Google's music effects makes it really easy for you to produce your own music. The next AI tool is called Magic Time. And with Magic Time, you can create time-lapse videos. Now, based on first looks, don't judge it. It isn't as user-friendly, of course, as the other tools, but don't judge a book by its cover because what it can produce are time-lapse videos, as you can see with this example here. And here's another example of, you know, baking uh, bread. We've got another one of cherry blossoms. Here's one that looks kind of like Minecraft. So it's building the house. There are more examples on their website. You can see the seed sprouting and more. Uh, ice cubes here and even more examples here. How it works is firstly, you choose the Dream Booth model. You can choose one of these. Each one will produce a different output. So you enter in the prompt and here are some examples that uh, you can try. And there's different perimeters that you can use like negative prompt, the width and height of the video clip and the seed. So it's actually got the code here that you can use or you can do minus one, which means a random. So for example, I'm gonna use this prompt right here, cherry blossoms. I've also entered the perimeters based on these settings. So everything has been pretty much cloned. I'm gonna click on generate. And now you can see it is processing. It does take a bit of time. So let's skip ahead and see what it's produced. All right, so it's finished. And just to remind you of the prompt, it's cherry blossoms transitioning from tightly closed buds to a peak state of bloom plus more. So I'll play this and you can see what it's produced. It's only two seconds. So I'll play this a couple of times. Here we go. Pretty cool. And I'll play it one more time. And that right there is Magic Time's time-lapse video generation model. The next tool on the list is called Logo Fast. As the name suggests, you can create logos fast. So if you're looking to create a new brand and simply want to whip out a logo without having to design it yourself, why not use Logo Fast? They've got this AI tool, so let AI build it, and you simply describe 
what your business is about. For instance, I'm gonna say a project management software that I'm building and I'll ask the AI and then it will automatically generate some ideas for me based on these. In essence, LogoFast will use icons and then design them based on certain colors and aesthetics. So these are the ones that it suggested. You can also do another round if you're not happy with them. These ones look pretty good with the graph. Here are some more variations, but you can always create a custom one too. So going right here, you can create a preset or you can also choose your own icon by going to icon, choosing an icon based on the list. Let's say something like this right here. And then I can do custom things like changing the size of the logo. I can also rotate it like so. I can change the width of the border, play around with the border colors, the fill color as well. And there are color options here too. Changing the background is easy. Go to background and you can choose how rounded you want it, choosing a different background like so. If you take a look at the top, there are some presets. So right here, you can choose some presets. So they're already designed for you, kind of template based. But let's say you like this version, you can click on download and you can download it as a PNG file or an SVG file. But there we go, that's how you can create logos fast. On the same subject of design, the next AI tool is called Color Magic. With Color Magic, you can generate your ideal color palette based on a text prompt. So clicking on create palette, all you need to do is enter a few keywords to describe the color palette that you'd like to see and it will generate it for you and some options and suggestions. Let's say you've got a business based on kids parties and events, things of that nature. I'm just gonna put in fun kids and click on generate. And here's the first color palette that it's come up with. If you're not happy with it, you can click on regenerate, do it again. And you can see this is a different color palette. In a practical sense, you can then take this color palette and then let's say share it with your designer, whoever's designing your website, your brand identity or other assets, you know, for social media, showing your designer what it is, uh, what sort of look you're going for. And then they can use this palette to then apply it to whatever designs you want. And those, my friends, are the seven free AI tools they can start using today. Let me know in the comments which of these are your favorites and which ones you're gonna give a try. I'd love to know. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and do take care.